Hello friends, welcome to my channel and in today's video we are going to cover controllers in AngularJS. So let's first understand what is controller. In Angular, controller is defined by a JavaScript constructor function and the role of controller is to expose data to our view and we do it with the help of scope. So scope is actually act like a glue between my controller and view. Or in simple term, you can also say scope act like a model for my view. But actually, scope is not a model. The property that you will define on the scope is actually called model. You can also add function to your scope that contain business logic to enhance view behavior. So let's understand how to create controller. Flip to your editor. And in this folder, I have two files, index.html and app.js. And I have referred this app.js in my index.html file after loading my Angular script. In the previous video, we have discussed about modules. If you didn't cover it yet, I strongly recommend to visit my previous video. And to do that, you just need to click on the link provided on your screen. So here, the value of ng app directive tells angular that which module you need to look for angular boots up in this case my module name is main app so let's create this module in the app.js file that we have linked to this page by including it in a script so open app.js file as we have already learned that angular module method is used to create module in angular js and it will take two parameters the first parameter is the module name that you will use in your index page to bind with your ng app and the second parameter is the list of dependencies as of now my main app module don't depend on any other module so i just need to pass a empty array here so now let's create controller. We need to register our controller on this module. So to refer this module, I have created a variable where app. So on this app, we can call controller function. So you just need to write app dot controller and controller function takes two parameters. The first one is the string that specify the controller name. So suppose our controller name is user controller. And the second parameter is a function that represents the logic of our controller. So let's create a function here. In order to pass data to view, we need to inject a scope. So to inject scope to our controller, you need to pass it as a parameter. Now suppose on this scope object, I want to bind a name property. So to bind a property on scope object, you just need to write scope dot name and the property value which you want to bind. Suppose John. Now our controller is ready to use. So let's create div with paragraph that will contain name. Now if you want to use this controller on your view you need to refer this controller using a directive called ng controller so if you want to use my user controller on this div so you just need to refer ng controller directive and the name of controller that you want to use so i want to use this user controller so the name of my controller you need to pass here so as of now my controller name is user controller now to access property that you have initialized on scope object you just need to use binding and name of your property is name so this is a very basic example of controller where I have just bind a simple property name now save the changes and check on your browser so now you can check the John that I have stored in my controller on the name property is visible on my view. So if you want to use any logic of your this controller, you have to use within this block because only this div 
has a reference of this controller if you try to print this name outside this block so it's not valid because my this block is not aware about the name property so just to make it more clear i said user name so it will simply ignore this one so it will not work so to work with your controller you have to use a directive that is called ng controller so as of now we have just find a simple property so suppose if you want to modify the behavior of your view you can also bind a function to this scope now suppose i want to create a button on my view and i want whenever i person will click on that button the value of name property should update so you can also bind a method to this scope you just need to say scope the method name maybe i say update name and just bind function to this property now to call this function i have to create a button on my view so just move to your view and create a button and i just print a message here update name now i want to raise a event the click event that whenever the button will click so to work with event in angular js we have again a directive for that that is called ng click and on ng click you can bind a method so i want to call this method whenever a click will be done on this button so you just need to invoke a method in a same way so whenever a button will be click this method will call and on click of this button i want to update the value of my name property so you just need to update the value of name property to peter now save changes and move to your browser and check so initially the value of my name property is john but when a person will click on this button a update name function will call in your controller and will update the value to peter so this is a very simple example to create controller in angular js i hope you like this video if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel see you in the next video till then take care bye bye